Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. Today we're doing Burgo. Still haven't finished my nails. Okay. Burgo, you've got some happiness. Everything doing well in the home. Children are happy. Family life's happy. But you are juggling your finances a bit. But then who is it nowadays, right? Unless you're filthy rich. And there's a lot of problems on your plate, if you like, right? You feel very weighed down with it. But like I said, you've got... You're juggling your finances because there's something you need to get to to grow and you've got the world so I do feel that whatever it is it's coming to an end and you have got a new start coming in life it's a major change for you it couldn't even be a holiday but it's like you're testing the water to see how it's going to go, to where this move is going to be right for you. Oh. Oh. Right. Please keep putting these cards where I go. Petty arguments around. Petty arguments, guys. Oh, what's under here? Have you weight on your shoulders and petty arguments? Right. The reason you're juggling your finances is because you've got the high priestess there and. It, oh, gosh. And she's going to lie to you. Or oh, there's something they haven't told you. Oh, my God. Which makes everything go to pot. <laughs> but it's out of your control. This happened in the past. Something happened in the past. It was out of your control. So you were already happy. Until... Oh, sorry. Until whoever came along <clears throat> and did this to you. They totally stabbed you in the back, guys. Someone who's trying to get you to do something which is bad for you. And you only you can make the decision whether you do it or not. Just be careful with your finances. And then there's this woman here. She's in control with her emotions and things. Sometimes she doesn't hear what people need though and what people want. She, sometimes she just doesn't get it. Oh, Virgo, Virgo, I'm so sorry. I can't stop yawning. Every, every now and again, I'll get in this chair and all of a sudden, boom. Wow. Right, you got the Queen of... Queen of Swords, thank you. And remember, this woman here, this feminine energy here, can be quite aggressive. And I just feel that, you know, you're fed up. But you love this person dearly. Maybe you're offering them a helping hand. Good grief. I do apologize for this yawning. Ugh. All right, let's read these cards. So we've got the Ten of Cups, which is a happy card, okay? It's 
the second one underneath the sun. So it's quite a good card. It's a very good card. Because you got the two of coins. It's, you know, maybe you're putting a front on. Pretending you're happy when you're not really. You're not really happy at all. You're juggling your emotions and your finances and everything. And you're just, you're just putting on a front. There is a secret that's been told, which you have found out about, which has absolutely devastated you. Absolutely devastated you. And how you reacted was totally out of your control. But someone's trying to calm it down. But careful, because someone's going to stab you in the back, or they did stab you in the back. Then you got the Knight of Coins with the world. <sighs> oh my goodness. So you got the Knight of Coins with the world. So I do feel very strongly that there was a time, or oh, this is the time when you need to sort things out. Because you're going to be going down a new path in life. But someone's trying to entice you. But someone's also trying to entice you to lie to someone. Don't do it. Don't do it. Because everything's going to fall apart through a decision that you make. And it, it's going to be awful. It's going to be really awful. Because you've got the swords there. And you're trying to get out of a situation that you can do, but you're finding it very, very difficult to get out of. I also feel that some of you are like, you're, also, you're giving money to a loved one, but you're also testing your loved one. You're testing them very much. And then you've got the stab in the back. With this woman. So I do feel this woman's going to stab you in the back. And it could be over finances. Could be over money. And you've got the three of wands. With the. Temperance. And yet we've got temperance there as well. And it's temperance. Isn't it? Yeah. So you've got temperance out twice. So you are definitely. You know. Testing someone, definitely testing someone. And it could be this woman who has got temper, very bad temper. And, you know, she's trying to get out of a situation. That woman's very intelligent. Don't be careful how you cross her because she's intelligent. Okay, but, oh God, she's trying to get out. You're trying to get out of a situation. And it's with someone you love. Something you love. And you're fed up giving people you love money. You're fed up with it. And you're being told to keep hold of your money now. Now's the time. Okay? Now's the time to keep hold of your money. There's a possible chance that you could be walking away. Which will give you a lovely new beginning. But you're scared. You're very scared. You're very scared because of your past. Okay, but you will do a lot better on your own. Okay, Virgo, you will do a lot better on your own. Right. Just see how it goes. But they're saying it might, not with all of you, some of you, it's not even a partner, it's a friend. It might not be a partner. It could be a friend. So just remember that, guys, okay? You know, if it doesn't resonate with you guys, don't make it fit, okay? Because it's just not worth it. But as always, stay truthful, be happy, and love and sparkle, Scooby-Doo.